Hey Zerpers, here's something pretty cool for you. NFTs on the Ripple XRP ledger and a project that I have my eye on and maybe you should keep your eye on too. So recently on September 29th, Ripple had announced a $250 million creator fund for anyone that wants to come and participate in creating NFTs on the XRP ledger. And there are a few notable partners here with Mintable, uh, VSA partners to help get your branding out there as a creator and Mint NFT. If you're a creator, head over to the Ripple.com Creator Fund page and apply now. This right here is what we are waiting on. This is the GitHub for the NFT support, the XLS20. Uh, this is this is the magic in the making. There are 26 participants. It was presented by Nick Bugalis on um, May 24th. Now you can see there are a few issues that are still being ironed out. Uh, hopefully they can get all of this stuff resolved and working 100% and launched within the next month or so. I'm not going to get into all the nitty gritty here, but I will leave all of the web links in the description below the video for you so you can do your research afterwards. Here is the project I was referring to that is being built on the XRP ledger. This is the Board Apes XRP Club. Um, it does have no relation to the Board Apes Yacht Club. This is uh, at the attributes here are going to be based on Ripple employee members and XRP community members. Uh, that seems like it's going to be a pretty interesting thing. I think there's quite a few uh, really intriguing characters out there in the in the community. We have information here set up for the trust line, which we'll go into in a second. It is traded on Sologenic. There are 10,000 Bay tokens is, is um, what are going to be traded here for the NFT later. So one Bay token equals one Board Ape XRP NFT. So far there have been a little over 7,000 Bay tokens airdropped, and there are roughly 15,000 trust lines set up. Um, there is a basic roadmap right here. Uh, I think all of this stuff is still being worked on under the hood as, as far as the designing and the, the artwork. Um, there's, a lot, there's a lot to do. I think there are four team members that are working on this project. So things are a little slim, but uh, you know we just gotta pay attention to the community and see what's happening as they post. Here is their Twitter page and they have roughly 4,000 members here. They are somewhat active. That's some pretty interesting artwork. If, it, if their NFDs come out looking, come out looking anything like these, um, I think they'll do quite well. Uh, like I said, there have been quite a few airdrops that have presented, been presented on Twitter. There was a tweet with that David Board Ape, David Schwartz Board Ape, sent to him and he commented on it but instantly deleted it somebody had captured a screenshot so it was kind of nice to see the you know somewhat of a support there for for the art anyhow so feel free to follow them on twitter they have a discord page which has a little over 1300 members they're pretty active in here if you were to set up a trust line with them, it would be through the Zoom app, and they have all of the information linked from their main page and from, from their Twitter and, and Discord. Just make sure that if you do set up the trust line, it is at the correct address for the correct token. It does cost 2 XRP to set up a trust line. It is then traded on Sologenic as the Bay token looks to be at 43 XRP per Bay token. 
the 24 hour low is 30 XRP, 24 hour high is 60 XRP. Uh, it looks like it's consolidating after a pretty large pop. It looks like uh, it hit 500 XRP per bay token when it first launched, and I would imagine that some of those early airdroppers uh, took profits and it dropped down quite significantly. Um, it does seem to be consolidating in that area. So uh, I think that's a, that's a good sign. You know, it's possible it could take another leg down if uh, things don't progress fast enough with the, um, the software that needs to be implemented on the XRP ledger. It does seem like it does have very great potential upside as well. So things to consider. You can follow their BitHomp transactions. Here's a nifty little tool. It's called Gadget78.uk, and it shows some of, uh, some of the info here about the different uh, tokens issued. And you can see down here is the, the Board Ape XRP. The trust line was set up on the 10th of October. Like it said, almost 15,000 trust lines set up. They do have somewhat of a low score here on, on the rating. I think that may possibly be due just to the lack of information provided so far. Uh, I do believe in the Discord that they had mentioned about Zoom verification, and it is in the works right now. So that'll provide a little bit of a surety to uh, some people. And it just has just has all the information uh, about about the token, uh, token addresses where they were were created, uh, distribution address, that, that sort of thing. So, we, we'd say Wind had come out with a tweet just recently. Um, there have been quite a few rug pulls on the XRP ledger through some shady trust lines, essentially. Um, I'm just going to play this video here, and I will leave this for you to decide what you want to do. So we're getting a lot of questions, remarks, and complaints even from people who lost funds by buying scam tokens, crappy tokens, newly issued on the XRPL. I know most people don't read the warnings, so here is a video message. Adding a trust line can be perfectly safe. You know what isn't safe? You know what's going to make you lose your savings? Trading scam coins. These new issued tokens on the XRPL worth absolutely nothing. I can create a token like that in a couple of seconds. Why would you buy them? Why would you trade them? You're going to lose your funds. Don't do it. Don't trade. Don't buy a scam token. Is someone offering you a token on a Telegram group, Discord group, or on Twitter? It's probably a scam. Don't trade those tokens. Don't buy them. Here's a worthless piece of shit I just drew in one second. Would you buy this for real money? For real XRP? No, you wouldn't. So why would you on the ledger? The vetted list with tokens is available in some if you press the add button in your home screen. There are many more tokens, some of them trustworthy, but please do your own research. Only the vetted tokens with teams we can trust, teams with a track record, teams we vetted, are in the list if you tap the add button on the some home screen. Getting offers for adding trust lines elsewhere? Do extra research, be extra careful, most of them are scams. Arwen, did you buy a crap token? So, still in doubt if you should buy this shit token? Go to www.shouldibuythisshittoken.com to find out the answer. Stay safe. Alright, so you heard it from the horse's mouth here. You know, just do your own research. Be diligent. Follow the communities. Follow the devs of the projects that are, that are uh, designing these NFTs. Or, you know... Are they putting out information on a regular basis? Are they putting out enough that makes you feel sure about the project? You know, just really be cautious here. I myself am going to keep my eye on the uh, Board Ape XRP project. It is very early. Uh, seems like it's going to be a pretty interesting thing to follow here. So, anyways, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.